Hey there. Each of you who have hosted a Minecraft server on Nitrado um, will know the struggle of trying to save the world after um, you finished playing or you don't want to pay the server anymore and um, you're desperately trying to, to save the, the world so you can revisit it later or maybe upload a single player world onto your Nitrado server. All these actions are not very user friendly, um, not possible in a very user friendly way on Nitrado but I'll show you one and actually um, it works pretty good and pretty fast too. What you gotta do first is download FileZilla. Um, FileZilla like kind of uh, creates a connection between um, your PC and the, the server you're wanting to download or upload files to. Um, you have the link in the des description, but it's also up here. Um, download it, you know how to install a program. I don't have to explain that stuff. Um, and then when you've done that, you can open FileZilla already. All of this stuff is probably gonna be empty. Uh, it's definitely going to be empty. Um, and then you go onto your Nitrado uh, web interface. Um, you should know how to get there, otherwise, uh, yeah, just from the main menu, web interface, and then onto dashboard. I won't scroll up because the, the server IP is shown there. But um, yeah, go all the way down on dashboard, all the way down to FTP. Oh, uh, probably login data or something like that. I should have changed the language, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, it's under FTP. And then you have the host name, the port, the username, and the password. Um, all of these you'll need up here. Uh, the port is pretty much 21 every time, so you don't even need to fill that in. But you copy the host, um, copy the username. If you click on this little eye icon, It'll show you the password and you can copy paste it into here. Then you click on quick connect. Um, I'll abort previous connection. You probably won't have this window I just had there because it was already connected. And you might want to, might need to um, accept one or two terms or whatever, but then you'll end up in this interface. And uh, from here, it's pretty straightforward. So you have your, uh, your old files. Um, on your PC um, to the left and the server files to the right. And these files, if I close, no, if I close this down, yeah. These files are um, the worlds loaded on your Nitrado server. Um, oh no, that's not correct. These are the files, I'm sorry, yeah. So you click on Minecraft or whatever uh, game you're, you're running, um, if it's an adventure map, you probably won't download it, but for the normal Minecraft maps, it's in here, and then you have the names. And then all you do is um, you download it. You can probably drag and drop it over here too, but uh, download works just fine. It ends up uh, in whatever you've opened over here. And uh, yeah, and just the same way you can upload things. If you don't know how to find your Minecraft world in your files, um, there's a pretty easy way to do this. Um, you go into your Minecraft world and, uh, and you into your single player world and create it. And then uh, in single player, you click on it and via edit, you can open the world folder. And uh, yeah, that's the folder you want to copy into the server files. And then you're good to go. Um, if you're downloading the map, that's also the location where you want to put uh, the, the downloaded world. Okay, uh, I kind of got lost there uh, with my explanations, um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, feedback, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy if it helped anyone, and if not, so then uh, it's probably going to help myself in one or two years when I forgot uh, how to do it again. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Oh no! Nein! Ah!